Zheng Rongsheng wants answers. Why her 10-year-old, Liu Wenbo, died with 128 other children in the town of Ufo. The three-story primary school collapsed, the only building in this town to fall. We always thought something was wrong, she says, because our children were told never jump up and down in school. The building was too weak. A banner in town reads, the children did not die in the disaster, but in bad buildings. Parents refused to leave the school grounds without answers, asking to see the school's building permits, but they say they're being ignored. Some accuse local governments of cutting corners on construction to save money. For China, such outspoken criticism is rare, but these people are furious. When officials moved in to clean up the rubble of the school, parents tried to stop them, fearing any investigation could be ruined. This is an official government notice with the promise to investigate. But exactly who will be doing the investigating? How will it be done? And will anybody be held accountable for this? There are just no clear answers. There are building standards in China, says Leo Jakun, an architect. But often the poor areas cannot meet them. He says more government money is needed. Each family receives about $720 from the government for every child killed. It's about a year's wage here. This is my only child. I raised for 10 years, says this father. No amount of money will do. He wants someone held accountable. The families vow to protest in Beijing if they do not get answers soon. We followed Zheng back to her village. She has little left. Her home destroyed in the quake. Liu Wenbo was her only child. I said goodbye one morning to my daughter, she says. And that night, I brought back a body. Now buried near her home, next to her grandmother. Without answers, she says, it is hard to let go. Wilf Dinnick, CNN, Ufo Village, China.